live number 173 youtube live yoga routine so before we begin i want to share a quote by rodney yi in regards to how to live a life of beauty and ease and this is his quote train yourself to be in awe of the subtle, and you will live in a world of beauty and ease. Let's read it one more time. Train yourself to be in awe of the subtle, and you will live in a world of beauty and ease. Now with this quote, He's talking about a feeling. He's using the word awe. That's a feeling. And when you feel an awe with the subtleness around you, you will live in a world of beauty and ease. And when I read that quote this morning, I thought about the yoga routines that I do for these videos and how that's what we're training for. Throughout the entire yoga routine, you're training to be one with the allness, to be aware of subtleness. Now, I would replace the word here as all with awareness. Of course, he's speaking about a feeling. And all is a feeling. Awareness is more of a, a, a conscious perception. And we train ourselves on the yoga mat to become aware of subtleness. And the two poses that I think of is the standing forward bend. In the half spinal twist because you're closed up. So, for example, in the half spinal twist, when you're closed up, the belly wants to breathe. So, when you inhale, the belly expands. And you let yourself go out a little bit. And when you exhale, you go back in. And it's a subtle movement. And you let that movement happen. And what's happening is that you're training the mind to be aware of that subtleness. So, when you're off the yoga mat, you're aware of the subtle things around you. And then you can go into uh, Ronnie Yee's quote of being in awe of the subtleness. But first you have to be aware of the subtleness. And that's what I thought about. So I was reading some of his quotes. I uh, actually haven't thought about him. I, of course I knew of him. I mean, if, if you're in the yoga, you know Ronnie Yee. I mean, you, you know the name. I don't I don't know much about him, but I know the name. If I saw his picture, I would know him. Um, so I was like, man, let me go check. I thought about him this morning. I was like, let me go check some of his quotes out. Now, if he said that quote or not, I don't know. I, I didn't see him say it. But it doesn't matter. It's the essence of the quote that matters. So today, what we're going to do is learn how to be aware of subtleness. And we do this all the time. But I just read a quote about it. So I kind of want to say, hey, think about focusing more. Well, no, you're going to focus on the breathing. You're going to become aware of solos. And you're going to think this in the back of your head more. Hey, let me, let me make sure I'm aware of solos. And we'll just focus more on it in the standing forward bend in the half spawn twist, which I usually do in these Routines anyways, a lot of times. Always, always, not always, but yeah, no, always except one time I didn't do the standing forward bend for 173 days in a row. Except one time I did not do the standing forward bend. Because I'm doing the sun salutations anyway. Um, one time I did not do a sun salutation. Man, I had to start all over. I just start. Okay, so. Let's go to mountain pose. Feet are shoulder width apart. 
toes go up, spread the toes as wide as you can. Each toe touches the floor one at a time. Then the knees to the hips. Then the arms relax. No tension in the arms or the shoulders of the neck. Then I'm going to take off my glasses. I'll put my glasses there, but I won't. Remember in the mount pose, you're gonna lengthen up. So you pull yourself up, strength, uh, strength, 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 strength. I don't think that's a word. I was wondering even if that was a word. Sometimes I mess up on my words all the time. Like at, at work, in a meeting, I'll start talking and I'll mess up a word. And I think, is that even a word? And if it's a word, I just go with it. I have a problem speaking, always have. And you know where that comes from. And then we'll go back to the mount pose. It comes from having a speech teacher throughout elementary school. My speech teacher, having a speech teacher for me, didn't really, I mean, you're talking about the 70s, so you didn't really help out. All it did is instilled in me, hey, you can't speak. I, uh, that's the honest truth. That's how I feel. Now I don't care. I don't care. I'm just being honest. So lengthen up, straighten, strengthen, <laughs> straighten, and then line up the bones. See, I can't even say the word when I tried. Straighten. There you go. Miss Harvey would be proud of me. That was my speech teacher in elementary school. She was awesome. She was cool. And then you get to line the bones up of the skeleton and let the skeleton stand as if you were just your skeleton. So you're finding that spot where the skeleton, all the bones are lined up, and the skeleton just stands as if there was no muscle, no skin, nothing. You were just your skeleton. Find that spot. So everyone's going to look different. And let the skeleton just stand, no tension anywhere, and just focus on the breathing. 100% focus on the breathing. So all you're doing is thinking, focusing on the breathing. And then that heightens your awareness. It makes you know what's going on in the body, allows you to know what's going on in the body. Now you're going to bring the palms together, thumbs to the heart center, push your arms out, up and back, inhale, inhale slowly, and then exhale. As you exhale, <clears throat> hinge forward from the lower back. We're just going to fall into the ragdoll. With the ragdoll, the arms are dangling, the head is dangling, no tension anywhere. You're just accepting where you're going or where the body goes. You're not pulling yourself in, you're not pulling yourself in, you just accept. And release all the tension from the lower back. That allows you to accept. You have tension in the lower back, you have effort, and that's not what you want. You want to just relax and just let the body go where the body goes. And just focus on the breathing. Pops the calves, elbows into the sides of the legs, you're going to arch the back, raise the head, inhale. And exhale. As you exhale, pull yourself in and down. Forehead's going to the knees, get all the air out. Then arch the back, raise the head, inhale as much as you can. And then exhale. As you exhale, you pull yourself in and down, get all the air out, push all the air out. Go ahead, arch the back, raise the head, going up, inhaling. Then exhale, pull yourself in and down, get all there out. Palms to the sides of the feet, left leg is back into a low lunge. With a low lunge, top the foot to the floor, knees to the floor, hips are square, pushing forward diagonally. Back is arching, so the head bones are going diagonally. Back arches, head is up. Make sure the front knee is not over the toes of his. Lengthen up some. Here to your palms, maybe to your fingertips, maybe you're here. 
It doesn't matter. Wherever you are, you're just going to accept. You accept. This is the type of yoga that we're doing. You're accepting. You're letting the mind and body become one. You get in the pose the best you can. Don't judge it after that. Don't control it. Let go and accept. And upward, I'm sorry, I was going to say the upper dog. In the low lunge, you're feeling opened. You're feeling open even in the closed poses too. And you do that by accepting. And I'll explain that when we go into the downward dog. And with that foot, curl toes under, knee goes up, high lunge. Set on the high lunge just for a second or so. Then downward dog, pushing into it. And you're really pushing into this pose. It's the first downward dog, so you go kind of easy, but you're still pushing to the spot right before you feel like, man, I shouldn't go any further. Once you find that spot, you settle, you accept, and you focus on the breathing. Now the arms are straight, legs are straight, tailbones to the ceiling, the heels are towards the floor. No tension in the neck, so the head dangles. And just focus on the breathing, thinking of nothing else but of the breathing. And then you slide into the upper dog, drop down to the knees and the chest, you slide up, tops of the feet are to the floor. Of course, the palms are too. You're opening up. You're feeling open. And then you can go to hands and knees if that's too much and do the cow. Arch in the back. Or you go to small cobra, put your chest off the floor. Palms are touching the floor, but you're not using them. They're just there. You're pulling yourself up. The back muscles are pull muscles, so you're pulling yourself up. Or do the upward dog and do the best you can. Back to downward dog, pushing into it. Really, really push into it and just accept where you are. Now, with this pose, from the outside, you're closed up. So the body is closed up, but the body does not dictate whether you feel open. So, although the body's closed up, when you accept where you are, boom, you enter into openness. That allows you to learn how to be open while closed up. So when you're off the yoga mat, you're in the so-called real world. Let's bring the left foot up. No lunge. No lunge. Top of the foot to the floor. Knees to the floor. Hips are square. Pushing forward diagonally. Back's arching. So the hip bones are pushing diagonally. Back arches, heads up, front knees, not over the toes, and just focus on the breathing. So when you're in a closed position, closed posture, uh, pose like the downward dog, you're open, even though you're closed. Because you become open when you accept where you are in the pose, and that allows you to, boom, be in openness. So when you're off the yoga mat and you're in a closed situ situation, like you feel like that in a job, or in a relationship, if you accept where you are, boom, you'll open up and you'll see different ways of thinking. Maybe how to get out of your job. Or it reinterprets how you understand your job. And then, man, my job is awesome. But you need to accept where you are first. And then when you accept, bam, you're open. Your mind opens. And then you can see clearly. So high lunge, standing forward bend, pull yourself in and down. And in this pose, you push all the air out. And then you just breathe. And you're going to watch yourself breathe. And this is the awareness that I was speaking about with the Rodney Heaney quote. Awareness. You've got to become aware of subtleness. 
And in this pose, you're aware of subtleness because when you inhale, the belly swells with air. It pushes you out of the pose slightly. When you exhale, you go back into the pose. You let that subtle movement happen. You focus 100% on the breathing, which heightens your awareness and it makes you aware of that subtleness. So when you're off the yoga mat, you're aware of subtleness. You're aware of the subtle things that are happening around you. And then when you're aware of the subtleness, you can do what the quote was saying in the beginning, which is become in awe. And it will allow you to see the world as beautiful and ease. Easiness. Palms together, reach out, up and back, inhale. Turn your palms out, push your down and out, exhale. Last one, inhale, last one, salutation. Exhale, hinge forward, standing forward bend, same thing, palms to the calves, elbows into the sides of the legs, get all the air out, and then just breathe and focus on the breathing. It heightens your awareness, and it'll let you know what's happening in the body. So when you're off the yoga mat, you're aware of subtleness and what's happening around you. And the left leg is back into a low lunge, opening up, feeling open. Do the best you can in the pose. You go into a pose, you settle, you find your spot. Hey, hey, okay, perfect. Then, boom, let the mind and body connect. Don't judge it. Don't control it anymore. Just accept. So if you're like this, you're like, man, my back's hurt. Let all that go. I'm not doing this good. Even if you feel like, man, I'm doing this pose perfectly. Let that go too. That's judgment. We're doing yoga. Yoga is when the mind and body connects. And you learn that on yoga mat. So when you're out in the real world, you're doing, say, washing the dishes. Mind and body is connected to that activity. You're doing yoga, driving down the street, at work, in a meeting, whatever, whatever you're doing. You want the mind and body to become one. So you're in the present moment. Now we're dog, pushing into it. Really, really, really push into it. And then accept and just focus on the breathing. Think of the breathing. 100% focus on the breathing. And you slide in the upper dog, opening up, feeling open, modify the pose. Doesn't matter, hands and knees into the cow or the small cobra. Just do the best you can. And back to the downward dog, pushing into it. Really, really push into it. Find that spot right before you feel like, man, I shouldn't go any further. And accept and focus on the breathing. Left foot is up into a low lunge, feeling open. 100% focus on the breathing. Think of nothing else but of the breathing. And standing forward, bend, put yourself in and down, get all there out first, and then just breathe. Lungs together, reach out, up and back, inhale, and exhale. Then the mountain pose. Remember, you're lengthening up and then let the bones sit on top of each other and just focus on the breathing. 100% focus on the breathing. I need to get a haircut, man. My hair keeps on getting in my face.
Now, we're going to go to easy pose. So if you want a mat, you go to the back of the mat. If you want, you don't have to. That's usually what you do. But you don't have to be the usual. Just be the usual. Just be different. So, the easy pose, make it easy. So if you need to go to the wall, lean against the wall a little bit, that's fine. If you need to do this, that's fine. You need to have one leg up. If you have a so-called issue in the lower back, do it. Doesn't matter. You're accepting where you are. Be true, be you. Let's say, be true, be you. You have to accept where you are. You're learning that on the yoga mat in these poses. So your knee hurts, right? You're like, ah, oh, my knee. I need to go up. I need to bring my knee up. My, my knee doesn't hurt. I'm saying that's an example. It's all right, man. You're accepting that. So when you're off the yoga mat, you're accepting where you are. It gives you the foundation, the base of where you are. Being true. Being true. Then you can find your way from there. Be true. Be you. And then your hands or to your knees or maybe your lap or their back like this. And just focus on the breathing. 100% focus on the breathing. Thinking of nothing else but of the breathing. I'm going to tilt the head to the right, right ears to the right shoulder. Shoulders stay level, left shoulder stays down. You just focus on the breathing and see what time it is. I have a clock right there. I don't have my contacts in, so I'm going to squint. So bring the right hand to the side of the head. Let the weight of the arm bring the head down. So you relax the arm. And let the weight of the arm bring the head down. Keep the left shoulder down. And just focus on the breathing. Thinking of nothing else but of the breathing. Now, if you're pulling yourself down a little bit, that's fine. Just try not to. But if you are, that's okay too. I pull myself down a little bit sometimes. Doesn't matter. Just do the best you can and just focus on the breathing. 100% focus on the breathing. And the head is back to center. And then tilt the head to the left. Left ears to the left shoulder. Right shoulder stays down. Back is straight. Shoulders are level. 100% focus on the breathing. That heightens your awareness. That allows you to become aware of the stretch that's happening in the right side of the neck. Maybe it makes you aware of getting fatigued in the lower back. Or you have an issue in your knee and you feel it. That's all right. You're not focused on it. You're focused 100% on the breathing. The left hand goes up. Just side of the head. Let the weight of the arm bring the head down. So relax the arm. Keep the right shoulder down. And just focus on the breathing. And what you're learning essentially is that you're not your so-called issues. Okay, you got an issue in your knee, fine. But you're not the issue. So when you're off the yoga mat, yeah, okay, you have this issue, issue happening, this so-called problem happening. But you're not your problems. Very important mindset. Then the head's back to center. Back stay straight, tilt the head back. And just focus on the breathing. 100% focus on the breathing. So take the knuckles, place them under the chin, pushing straight up. You're not drawing the head back, you're going straight up, elongating, keeping the spine straight, pull it up, and then go ahead and release. Chins down to the chest, keep the back straight. Just do the best you can. Just focus on the breathing. Cross the fingers together, palms go to the back of the head. Let the weight of the arms bring the head down. Just focus on the breathing. So you're not pulling yourself down, you relax the arms and let the weight of the arms bring the head down. 100% focus on the breathing. Very, very, very important. 
Breathing is the link that allows the mind and the body to become one. Is what allows you to, but the focus is what allows you to become aware of what's happening in the body. And then bring the head to center. And of course, there's other things too, because the prawn buys in on the breath. But well, that's not what we're doing. I mean, that's happening. That's going to happen regardless if I tell you that's what's happening or not. And then neck roll. We drop the head to the right, down and around. If the head goes down and around. You're exhaling. As the head goes up and back, you're inhaling. And you're focused 100% focused on the breathing. Thinking of nothing else but the breathing. And you're linking the movement with the breathing. You're becoming one with the movement. The movement is becoming a form of a moving meditation. Very subtle movement, but still a moving meditation. The head goes to the top, you're going to reverse. Exhale as you go down and around. Inhale as you go up. Link the movement with the breathing. Very, very important. That's yoga. This is yoga, right? People think yoga is the headstand, shoulder stand, the downward dog. This is yoga too, man. Subtleness. Again, you can do yoga while you're washing the dishes, while you're making the bed, washing the windows. I don't care what you're doing. You're doing yoga. The mind and body is connected as one. Oh, bring the head to center. Stop. The mind and body is one. That is yoga. You're just practicing it on this yoga mat, not on this yoga mat. You're doing it on your yoga mat or no yoga mat. Well, you're just practicing how to become one, setting time to the side and practicing to be one. And then when you're off the yoga mat, you stay that oneness. Your yoga all throughout the day. And shoulders shrug, shoulders to the ears, back down and around. When the shoulders go up, you're inhaling. And if the shoulders go back and down, you're exhaling. Link the movements with the breathing. Focus 100% on the breathing. And then when the shoulders go to the top, you're going to reverse. Exhale as you go down and around. Inhale as you go up. Again, focus on the breathing. And then when the shoulders go to the ears, bring yourself to the center. The trunk rotations, drop it down to the right, down and around. When you go down and around, the back is straight, and you're reaching out, and you're exhaling. And when you're going up, you're inhaling. Again, link the movement with the breathing. Think of nothing else but the breathing. And this is a moving meditation. And then when the truck goes to the top, you're going to reverse. Exhale as you go down and around. Inhale as you go up. Think of nothing else but of the breathing. And then we go to the top. Bring yourself to center. And we're going to do half spinal twists. And this is where you're focusing on subtleness. So left hands to the right knee, right arm goes up, pull yourself up, think of the spine, pull yourself up. Then you twist, palm goes forward in the back, arm is straight, and it's against the back, and make sure the head is twisting. And the subtleness is when you inhale, the belly swells with air, push your shot of the pose slightly. When you exhale, you go back into the pose. It's a subtle movement. You're aware of that subtleness because you're focused 100% on the breathing. You're learning this on the yoga mat, so when you're off the yoga mat, you're aware of subtleness that's happening around you. And release, back to center. Right hands on the left knee, left arms up. Think of the spine, pull yourself up. Then you twist, palm goes to the floor, stand back, arm is straight, and it's against the back. Make sure the head is twisting, and you're focused 100% on the breathing. And when you inhale, the belly swells with air, pushes you out of the pose slightly. And when you exhale, you go back into the pose. It's a subtle movement. You're aware of that movement because you're focused 100% on the breathing. And you release back to center. Wow. 
If you're straight, the hands are in front, to your knees, or to the wall, or however you're settled, that's fine. And just watch, do so, breathe. And remember, watch yourself breathe, and inhale and exhale. As when you inhale, the belly swells with air. You watch that, and when you exhale, the belly goes in. Or you bring your focus to the tip of the nose and watch the air go in and out. You just watch it. Don't control it. You're already breathing automatically. So you're just going to watch it. And what will happen many times, you'll start to control it. And when you realize, hey, I'm controlling myself, breathing. Let go and just watch it. And what will happen many times, you'll start to think about other things. And when you realize, hey, Thinking about other things, not on my breathing. Just let go, don't judge it, doesn't matter, and just watch yourself breathe. But it'll happen again and again and again. And just always just bring your focus back to the breathing. And what will happen is you'll realize you're not your thoughts, but the thing is watching your thoughts. So we're just going to stay here a little bit longer. So just watch yourself breathe. Comes good. Let's stay. And that's number 100. I forgot. I can't see that far. I want to say 174. I don't know what it means. I can't see that far. I'll get up and look so I don't tell you wrong. Oh, 173. 173. So I will see you tomorrow at 5 30 a.m. Arizona time, Mount Standard Time. So, if not a mistake, Peace and love.